night and the winter how I go Sorry that I fall away sometimes Sorry that I fall away sometimes Yeah, yeah The end Got to end it all on the weekend Sorry that I feel that way sometimes Sorry that I feel that way sometimes Oh, oh, yeah You don't really wanna know So, it's day three, um, I'm absolutely knackered, just woke up to about 10 seconds ago, got out my sleeping bag because I could just feel the sun beaming through the tent. You literally can't ask for better water than that. Uh, I haven't drunk any water this morning, deliberately, because I knew you're filling up on the finest. Uh, it's filtered through the mountains. Can't, it's, it tastes so different to normal water, because that's so filtered and purified that it's just banging. It's just the best water. It feels so fresh. It's proper clear as well. Sometimes your water, when you put from the tap, it might be cloudy or it might have little sort of air bubbles or whatever this it's just absolutely clear it's so still and it's so fresh and it wherever you go it all has sort of a unique taste it doesn't don't just taste the same it's sort of you taste what's in the mountains it's it's just beautiful so i almost forgot to say i was camped about there and you see all these stones up until where it gets green over there i was uh, a bit weird but I've been sort of walking barefoot to try and train my feet and just toughen them up a little bit because I just you come to realise how weak they are and how weak I am. Um, so I've been chat every day, every night. Um, I've been sort of doing some yoga, some nice stretches. Been meditating, reading, uh, sort of journaling, and one of the other things I've been doing is walking barefoot. And over any mountain I've done. Uh, in this this week or maybe even nah not ever I'm lying to you there but this week the hardest challenge was walking across all these stones it's a good job no one were here because I'm making all sorts of noises it's honestly it's so painful I tried all sorts of different ways of walking on it because I could just stick to the bigger ones which are just easy to walk on but I challenged myself and walked on all of the the sort of there's really small ones which are hard because they stick to your feet so then when you take the next step you've got some stuck to your feet so then that just they dig in so you're like doubling up and that really hurts and then the medium ones hurt also but there's this guy and I watched him the other day and he just he's walked barefoot everywhere up mountains everything and his feet are just hardened up to it and not that I want to go to that extreme he literally doesn't wear shoes but I do want to wear shoes. <laughs> I just want to harden my feet up a little bit. I'm trying to um, just master my body and in every way. So, um, so this is one of the ways that I've sort of started with. Another way, another way that I've been trying to do it is through like mobility. I want to be able to do like handstands and sort of all sorts of different stretches and stuff like that. Um, 
and just be sort of, yeah, just in control of my body. So yeah, I just thought I'd fill you in with that because it was very, very painful. <laughs> So I keep seeing these little st stone structures there, 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 there's one up on that hill over there. So I'm just trying to sort of work out what they were for. And this is my best guess that before this path was made, because this path is more of a modernized path. You can see up there, there's some, uh, there, there's some more of that stone structure, which is clearly older than the rest of it. So I think that there was a, a, a pathway, you know, for the minecart so that they could transfer the rock from, from the top to the bottom before this was made, that maybe, just maybe that was a pathway which the material moved from. I could be completely wrong, but that's my best guess. We made it to the bottom. I mean, absolute pieces. Uh, my feet kill from walking over them stones and walking downhill just sort of puts a lot of stress on your feet and your joints, which is also giving me lots of pain. Oh, not, not, not only that, there's been a sort of a collection of walking over this week, which is all adding up. Um, shoulders and back hurt, I'm bitten up everywhere. My body is just bitten up by midges. I've got a band on my arm and my, uh, my leg to just try and stop that, but clearly hasn't worked. <laughs> um, so I'm just feeling a little bit dead, but we continue. Uh, we're about half an hour away from the car. Uh, so I'm gonna stock up on some more food and I'm gonna head to my little spot up Mel Shabbard. I keep saying that and I'm probably insulting people because I haven't a clue if that's how you say it. <laughs> so the bag's packed with some more food in it. I've just had some food myself. It's the first bit of proper food I've eaten today because I've just had a bit of mock loaf this morning. Uh, we're heading up to the little spot. It's just over this brow uh, behind me. Um, I've put some thick socks on to try and save my feet a little bit because the blistered up to buggery and yeah I've got another climb to do which I'm not ready for but we do it anyway so been walking for a couple of hours and these are the two lakes where I'll be camping. If you can see the little ridge just here in between the two. I've uh, I've pitched up there before with a couple of friends and it was it's about a couple of months ago now and god the walk back up following this fence up here you can never really appreciate it on on camera but I'm telling you now walking up this bit was one of the biggest challenges we've have done so far. It was when we'd first sort of started uh, camping, not not really camping, but hiking and going up mountains with your backpack, which getting getting used to that is just very difficult. Uh, so this was one of the first things that we'd done and sort of got 10 steps and then you were done for. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that in the morning. Whew, so we made it. I'm gonna camp just here next to our bag there. So I think it's about time we're getting this water.
getting burnt. I've been sort of in and out of sleep for about two and a half hours, three hours maybe. Uh, just sunbathing. Uh, it's been so warm, it's just been so bliss. Uh, but I've been sort of a little bit burnt before doing that. So now I am definitely, definitely burnt. Um, but hopefully it doesn't get me too bad. Don't want to end up with some sort of sunstroke. I've just been having a conversation with myself, wondering through this woods, uh, wondering if it's forestation, because all the trees sort of line through, uh, too perfect, and nature doesn't really work in straight lines. Um, so I'd been just having that debate with myself, and then I come, come over here, and there's just a whole graveyard of trees. I don't even know if you can see them properly, but they would have been, the woods would have continued there, and there's just chopped trees everywhere and it's kind of it weirds me out every time i see sort of things like this because it's literally just a graveyard of trees it's kind of a bit weird My water were, uh, it were really hot. It had been sat in the sun for hours, so it was just really warm, which is horrible. Uh, we're just cooking up some bacon grill, which is peasant spam. <laughs> we're having some beans, some wraps with it. And I've just got some, some grapes and cherries in there. Beans in. I've never had bacon grill beans in a wrap before, but it works, so I can't complain. If you don't like grapes, you're a wrong one. It's as simple as that. These are food of the gods. Straight. Oh. So I thought I would burn earlier. Look at this now. Jeez. That's gonna be so like morning. My face is red, my shoulders kill. My belly doesn't even feel that bad, it just looks that's where you can see see the difference, but I am in a bit of pain with it. I'm gonna have to uh I'm home tomorrow, so I'm gonna have to get some aloe vera on the job. Always sorts it out. My uh my girlfriend actually has aloe vera plants. And I'll be rubbing one of them on me probably. The real deal. Not no not no gel. The real the real stuff.
Well, I think we've got enough wood. Starting to get this fire started. We've got a few different sizes. We've got some smalls here to try and get it started. And then I'm gonna work my way onto these, which are a little bit thicker. And then these, they're similar size to, to those, uh, but they've got the leaves on them, which burn right really well. Uh, and then some thicker ones. And then by the time all of that's on, the fire should be decent. And then we can start adding some more of that stuff. So fire's going now. All I need to do is just keep on feeding it with these with these little ones until we use all them up and we can start to get the, the bigger ones on. It's about half past eight. Uh, this is my final day. Tomorrow morning, I'll be heading back home. I've got a barbecue at my brother's, which is uh, something I'm looking forward to. Um, there's no way to, way to end uh, this sort of today and this trip than sat around a fire. Uh, it's about half past eight, as I say. So I'm just gonna chill out for the rest at night. Nothing too exciting, just keep feeding this fire. Uh, I'm just gonna do a bit of reading. I've got the Power Now by Eckhart Tolle. Um, I sort of make a lots of notes and stuff, so I have a little journal to to jot some notes down. I like to draw as well, so I end up drawing that. And I've got Deep Play. It's by Paul Pitch Pitchard. He's uh, a renowned climber from uh, maybe 20 years ago. I got the book Given by um, someone I met in Wales last time, actually. A couple of months ago, as I keep keep talking about it, <laughs> uh, we met a man, and he ended up. He was a climber. He was a sponsored climber, and he lent us that book to read. So I've been enjoying it. It's not my. Um, it's not really my cup of tea. I, I like. Cli I love climbing, and it's something that I really want to get into. But the books. It's the book itself. It's more of like a storytelling, and I don't really like them kind of books. I like educational books and it's things that provoke your mind more. To be honest. Um, but that being said, I'm going to read it and I am enjoying it, but I don't think I would uh, get, an, get another one. I'm just enjoying the last little bit of heat from this fire. Um, so this is going to be sort of the end of these three little videos, my little trip to Wales. So if you've watched all or any of the videos, I just want to say thank you. Um, these are my first proper YouTube videos, so it's all so so new to me and I don't even know if they're any good to be honest. <laughs> I've done all the recording, uh, I've, I've really enjoyed uh, just recording them to be honest. It's something to do. I love these little expeditions and I love sort of just being around nature. So if I can video it and make something of it then that would be brilliant too. So yeah, if you've enjoyed, uh, thank you. Please leave a like, it seems way to ask and subscribe but yeah thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one